Come on in, welcome to my home. Today I'm going to do a Q&A. Quick little, well, might not be quick, but answering some of the questions that you have that I've seen, some that I asked you on the community tab, and also giving you some background because I know I get a lot of these questions asked, like, all the time. Let's start off with some background. I had began my YouTube channel a few years ago simply because I used to bake a lot, and I mean like a lot. And people would ask me for the recipes, and then I'd have to print them or uh, email them. This way I could give people the recipe the easy way. That way they could see what I'm baking and those sort of things, and I could give them recipes, and it went from there. I really enjoy baking, and this ties into a ton of other things. So let's talk about the my early life. Uh, I do live in the Midwest, which is a nice place to be if you like the weather to change constantly. In fact, what's funny about this video is this video, I should be filming the video where I'm cleaning out my garage today, but it became really cold and rainy, so that's not happening today. Instead, I thought I would finally record this Q&A. Uh, I have a background, I should, I should explain how I got into YouTube. I do have a degree in telecommunications, so yes, I'm one of those people who can record videos, you know, and that sort of thing. But I also have a background in theater. Everything from acting, to set design, to costume design, to directing. So yeah, I've done all of those things, and all of this plays into what I do with YouTube, simply because I, I love doing these things. Like, why do I change out my backgrounds? Because I love doing that sort of thing. I love playing with light and all those fun things, and so that's what I love to do on YouTube. And it's really important to remember that you see, the reason that you see my house changing so much is I live in a three-room yeah, I guess you'd have to say. Three-room condo. There are just three rooms. Uh, living room, kitchen, and dining room are all combined. A master bedroom, and then this is my office. No, that's, that's all there is. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's the thing. Now let's talk about some other things. Uh, a lot of people always ask me, what do I do with all the food? This becomes a big issue when you look at... Uh, what's going on right now because I film way far in advance and I do honestly mean my videos are done way far in advance and the reason for that is so that if I want to take a day off or if I have something to do that week I don't have to rush around and try to fit everything in to one week. I can sit there and go, well, no, I can take the week off because I usually batch film, which means I will do two to three cooking videos in a day or two to three of these talking heads videos in a day. The only thing that I do not batch film are my uh, cleaning videos and the laundry videos are done as they come up. So I'll do the laundry, record it. That's why you see me changing clothes a lot in those laundry videos. But I do batch film the videos simply because I need to be able to have that freedom if I can't do something to do something else. And that becomes an issue. But it also becomes an issue with what I do with the food, which is always another question. Uh, so after I film a video, we have to do something with the food. And nine times out of ten, I'm making food that I'm actually going to eat. That's why a lot of the pictures that you see on my... Uh, on my thumbnails, on my Instagram, they might not be the world's greatest pictures simply because I really am eating that food. As in, like, that's what we're going to have for dinner. I found that there, I got into baking the cookies and breads because it was easier to do those shots because the food could cool down or whatever instead of having to have it steaming hot because I would have to time things out so that I could make it and then serve it. So imagine you're trying to do the whole production thing, set up everything, and then you have to serve it right away. So yeah, that became its own issue, so the pictures had to be done quickly so that then mom and I could eat the food. And then also, there are only two of us here, so if I do big meals, I usually plan the big meals over some sort of big family get-together, like our family reunions, Christmas, uh, those sort of things. So that is something to really think about. It is a huge planning operation, so when I do my batch filming, I can then plan things out. 
Now what's really interesting about that is that also means that my house is never set up to the actual holiday that we are having. Even my cleaning videos are filmed ahead so that everything matches. So the cleaning videos that I'm filming now the, uh, the cleaning videos that I'm filming now won't be seen for a few weeks because it all, when I do panning around for other things, everything will match and it'll look the same. But ever, when everybody comes to my house, if they come at Christmas time, I'm in January. If they come at uh, Thanksgiving, I'm in Christmas. It, it just one of, it's just one of those things that happen. Okay, so what are the other questions that I get? How did I learn? Well, let me look. Hang on. The question is, how did I learn how to bake? Was it from a parent or a class? I'm one of these people who I learn how to do things from actually doing. So, my mom will tell you that I learned how to bake completely and totally on my own. I just read a recipe and just fixed it. Now, I did used to watch her and my grandma as they would make things in the kitchen, so I knew the basic principles of it, but I taught myself. I am self-taught. There is no, there were no classes, and uh, yeah, it's one of those things where since I just love to cook, the more you do it, the better you get at it. So that is how I learned how to cook. I just wanted something, and if I didn't have it, I would make it. And that became true with everything. If I didn't have uh, curtains or something like that, I would just make it. Now, my woodworking and electrical skills came from my grandfather, who taught me how to do woodworking and a little bit of electrical. But if also if I didn't know how to do it, I'd look up a video, or actually back then we'd read a book, and we'd learn how to do it. Let's see what's another question. What kind of work do I do? Uh, then I have Christine123 is asking, what kind of work do I do outside of YouTube? And YouTube is my main source of income, sort of, I guess you would say. It's my main source of work. How's that? So YouTube is my main source of work right now because a lot of things which I do come from YouTube. So I have other people asking me to help them do food photography or videos or that sort of thing. Uh, and then also in YouTube, there's lots of things where I can make money from the affiliate links, which are down in the description. There's Patreon. There are actually the uh, Teespring t-shirts. All of that stuff is linked down in the description or in the cards. And so I do get money from that. And I also get a tiny bit of money from the ads on YouTube. That's how we do it. And that also plays into the whole, since I'm not since I, what I cook is only for what we are going to eat or what we are going to use, I'm not buying extra stuff. The projects that I do at my house are projects that I actually need to get done. And so I can do things that way by just filming what I'm doing. That's how the whole cleaning videos came up because I wanted to do more, but without going into buying things that I didn't need or wouldn't use or that sort of thing. I did the cleaning and because uh, I do that all the time and that's how it gets done. Simply K asked, how often do you clean the whole house? Uh, there are a couple answers to that one. Every week I clean my house. Now if you're asking how often do I do the big clean, I do the big clean in spring and fall where I move everything out and clean baseboards and walls and windows and all those sort of things. But now I have to give a little caveat to that as in I live alone and since I live alone it makes things a lot easier. Usually um, very few people come over to my house and I've gotten to the point where I put everything away right when I do. Uh, the, the thing that causes the most dirt and disruption to my cleanliness here is the dog, which my mom and I share. She goes back and forth between our condos because mom lives on the condo on the other side of me and so we share the dog. So uh, she brings in a lot of hair, a little dirt, not too much dirt, but for the most part the house stays relatively clean because I'm now to the point where if I do something I try to put it away the minute that I do it. Once I'm done with it, I try to put that away right away. How did I learn how to clean? Mom. Mom's a nurse. Well, she was a nurse. She's retired now. 
Uh, so she was really, really, really clean. I mean, you could eat off of her floors at any time. So all of my cleaning skills come from her. She's still more clean than I am because you can still eat off her floors and yeah. But uh, the cleaning comes from her, the baking and everything, like I said, she says I do a way better job, and I know my gravy is a little bit better than hers, I, I'll, I'll admit that. But uh, those are the things which I always like for people to realize is that all of the stuff that you see is what you really see. Unless I tell you that something's been made ahead, it hasn't. It's it's made. What you see is from beginning to end. I don't have swap outs. I don't have any of that stuff. So it is beginning to end. Everything is just like it is. The only time I will have a swap out is if something takes weeks to do. And I try. I will sometimes do the swap out from, hey, you mix this up and then wait a week or a month or so ever. But I haven't had to do one of those in a really long time now. So if I'm baking bread, yep, I'm waiting those four hours or however long. An hour for the bread to raise, then punch it down, form it, another hour for it to raise, then bake it. So that's how my day goes and I have to get that time allot it to do these things. A lot of people ask me how long does it take to do a video? It just depends. It can take about half hour to set up everything and then depending upon what it is, if it's a bread video, it can take three, four hours simply because of all the steps. Cookies take less time. The turkey took I don't know how long turkey took. It took the length to cook a turkey and cool it and all those fun things. So usually I start about between 9.30 and 10. Sometimes I am going till 4 or 5 or I've been known to go as late as 8 p.m. getting a video, getting two videos done in a day. It just depends. Now I do generally try to work film on Monday, uh, clean on Tuesday, edit the um, weekly videos and the weekly videos which are on the Patreon uh, which is just the vlog that gets edited on Wednesday Thursday I don't really do much of anything except get everything all all the pictures and everything that I'm going to do for Instagram and all those things set up and then on Friday I do take Friday Saturday and Sunday sort of off but if I have laundry to do those sort of things that's when that those things still get done at those times but those are the things. I hope that answered some of your questions. If you have other questions, let me know down in the comments. Uh, most of the stuff that I've talked about probably showed up in cards, which I think are over there, I'm pretty certain. Or they are listed down in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you want to see, if you have other questions that you want me to answer. And I hope that I get to see you again next time, or you can check out some of these other videos that I picked out just for you.